Seal and balance is grace does that much more than that. Somebody shout, he's helped here today. Amen. Jesus just helped us through it. No, Jesus said, if you'll believe, I'll help you out of it. I ain't here to tell you he'll just help you through it. I'm here to prophesy by the word of the Lord in my mouth. He'll help you out today. He is still the deliverer. He will rescue you. He will lift you up. Out of respect for your neighbor, mostly out of reverence for God. Holy Ghost, what an ordained service sent for you. Jesus, you're the God that's more than me. Many can handle you. You always have more power than whatever the devil has. You still got more miracles than the devil does trouble. Lord, I thank you right now. Those that will yield to you in this hour. Those that will watch on TV, watch on uh, the internet, watch on their iPhone, whatever the device is, or listening on audio on CD somewhere in the future. And those that's right here in this room. Lord, if they'll bring it to Jesus, if they'll bring it to you, Lord, you'll set them free. Lord, I heard you this morning. Before we got day night, you, day star Jesus, rose in my life. You said, I long to help out. I long to deliver. The sick kept it free. <clears throat> Go tell them there's hell in me. On count three, my count three, said, Preacher, you have preached to me today. Now I'm bringing it to Jesus. My count three. Come on, make your decision. The decision that makes you. So you decide what you want to do. Jesus has already decided what he wants to give you. He said his pen is John 19 and 30. He stands up here and said, I've done at Calvary all that's needed to be done. Come receive it. So now it's in your heart. What you will do. I pray you'll obey. Count the three. Move from where you are and bring it to Jesus. One, two, three. Will you bring it in? Take your life and bring it to Him. Take the trouble and bring it to Him. Cast your burden upon the Lord. He'll sustain you. He'll never suffer the righteous to be moved. Psalms 55, 22. Will you bring it to Him? Or will you take it with you and give it? Will you be willing to let go of your life to have it? Will you let go of His to give you His on the cross? You're not waiting on God. He's waiting on you. Hallelujah. Himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses, Matthew 8, 17. Quit calling that disease yours. Quit calling that sickness mine. It's his. He took it. If he took it, he don't want you to keep it. People with stomach infirmities, power of God to do with this room right now is healing. There's a person in here you eat and then you go throw up. That is a spirit that's unclean. And Christ will set you free from that in this room right here today. If you'll call on this. People again, the Holy Ghost says with stomach infirmities. Problems in their stomach. God said, if you'll rise from where you are and come forward and stand in my altar, I'll complete your healing this very day. People in this room, you can't even sleep at night, but God said, I give my beloved sleep in Psalms 127 to come. David said in Psalms 143, verses 9, He said, Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I run to thee to hide me. You want to get delivered from this enemy called men? Run to Jesus. If you'll run to him right now.
right now. He will hide you. He will cause you to step into His presence. And you will be made free. He sure is. Thus saith the Lord as I live, what you say in my ear is what I'll do. Numbers 14 and 28. What I just heard you say is what I bring to pass now. He the lives of the power of the tongue and he that loves you the fruit there. Proverbs 18 and 21. Thank you! Heal in the name of Jesus. We curse those things. We release your blessings. You're covered by the blood of Jesus. By your stripes we're healed. 1 Peter 2 24. Jesus is mighty man. Psalms 4 and 8, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. Thou, Lord, make me to dwell in safety. Who up in the name of Jesus, the living Christ. Now there goes the pressure, man. The way of the world is like that. It's lifted up off him. That's the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God said, no, I right, hear you broken in heart. Now bind up your wounds now, Psalm 147 and 3. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God said, make the soul of tears ring with joy. Psalms 126, verses 5. Somebody, you've been weeping, you've been crying. Holy Ghost said, you've been even beside your bed at night, laying in your bed at night, just wetting your bed from your face. Crying, can't sleep, just crying because all of the stuff that's up on you, all the stuff you're dealing with, God said, would you come and with the cords bind this sacrifice to the Lord? Psalms 118, 27, as the old song said, take it to the Lord, leave it there. Leave it there. Holy Ghost, I thank you for a miracle. Lift your hands to it, my brother. God, I thank you for the signs and wonders of the living God. Now! In the name of Jesus, we call things that are not as though they were. Romans 4, 17, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. God, I thank you that the cloud lives in the shadow of the Almighty. Lord, right now, you satisfy the low life. Holy Ghost, Psalms 101, verse 1, letter part 16. We connect those two in Jesus. My name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Brethren, I call you on every Galatians 5 13. Who the Son sets things for you to the places. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's difference in Corinthians 5 17. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. God, I thank you for that. I want me to grab your hand and just motion for you to come a little forward. As God said today, like again, 1 Samuel 16, 13, with David, Samuel, the prophet, come and anointed him from that day forward. Somebody shout and anoint him forward. Hallelujah. God said today, I'll cause you to forget those things that's behind you. To release yesterday that you've been yoked to. For daughter, I call you out. I call you from it. And I'll set you free to live past the past and to step into your tomorrow, Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost.
3, verses 12, it talks about God saying to Israel that as a shepherd takes out of the mouth of a lion what's left of a sheep, which was only a piece of the and two legs. He said, so shall I do with you, the children of Israel. And as a prophetic portrait, God wants you to see this. Everybody see it, but God's telling me to take it to this thing. See it in the theater of your mind. God's the great shepherd. He walks up and there's a line there, and the line's about finished his lunch. The line's chewing with his powerful jaws on the lamb, the sheep. And all that's left of the sheep is a piece of an ear and two legs. Most shepherds, most of the men, kind of beer, would say it's too late. It's a portrait that I like to prophesy to say, my God, the great shepherd, it's not too late. It's not too late. Because God says, if you got a piece of an ear and two legs, that means faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, Romans 10 17. If you got enough of faith in what you've heard God say, and if you can stand by faith on what you've heard God tell you, he can redeem you from the mouth of every line. It may look like it is too late, but I hear the Holy Ghost say to prophesy to you, don't worry, it is not too late. Hallelujah. I declare it to this entire night, it is not too late. The shepherd is coming. His name ain't Martin. His name ain't mine. Hallelujah. As respectable as we may be to anybody as God's anointed, Jesus is coming. And daughter, it's not too late. And what you bring to me today, Only you really know that he ain't said nothing to me about any pain or nothing like that. 
God, I prophesy the pain and the fear this day. Lord Jesus, will you change as he has touched you today? In Jesus' name. Somebody's going to wake up in the morning. I'm prophesying that. Somebody, you're going to wake up in the morning and you're going to try to find your pain. Look at your neighbor and say, don't look forward. It will be fine. Lord, thank you for this man. Holy Ghost, I agree with him right now in Jesus' name. You said a two of your word that's touching the one thing that he has. And he shall be given to our Father, which is in heaven. Matthew 18, verse 20. So I call upon the Lord God, and I thank you. I prophesy on this man that it is not too late. You're still more than enough. You still know how to take what's left. You know how to take a little bit of oil left and make it pour out much. Second Kings 4. And Lord God, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Sir, I prophesy the word of the Lord. I hear that which I hear, I hear, I preach on the rooftop. Matthew 10, 27. And I say the same to you. It is not too late. It has not been this way too long. That God cannot reverse it, change it. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. God, I release the living faith of Christ. And I command this, sir, Lord God, in his spirit, soul, and body to be completely I release that word in him. It's not too late. Jehovah Ra, you have more healing power than the infirmity has over this man's body. Somebody shout El Sadai. He has more than this enemy called me. You may have so much things wrong with your body, it would take you a long time to just tell them all. And I'm telling you with one word from Jesus, all of it can go. God, I'll just give that one word. It is not too late. Somebody shout, only believe. It's been the word of that big fist of plumber that God used to raise people from the dead to do miracles. He said to have an adventure with God requires only two things. Two words. Only. Just believe God. Whether you feel any difference right here or not, some of you today would say, I ain't going to ask you how you feel, but how are you feeling? Uh, sometimes we judge whether or not God's moving by whether or not we feel God moving. No, 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 no. We're judging God by whether or not you feel Him.
That's up to him. He gives to the Spirit according to his will. Hebrews 2 4. So we're not in the end of pressure to do that. But Lord, we lay hands in faith. Use it in Mark 6, verse 18. If we believe in your name, we lay hands on the sick, they shall recover. Man, I prophesy by that word of faith that's written. You shall recover in the name of Jesus. Tell you, can't you can't leave with nothing but with right. You can't go wrong if you'll bring it to Jesus this morning. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Lift your hands. Lord, I rebuke that now already. Issue and cause. And God, even the seizures. We stop them now by the name of Jesus. We rebuke them now in the name of Jesus. Loose her and let her go. Go from her body. We're on the body. Body's for the Lord, the Lord's for the body. First Corinthians 6 13. So I'm going to lay your hands on your body and say, The Lord's for my body. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I keep hearing the Lord say tonight, maybe there'll be an anointing to heal on a greater dimension than what we even see me. Lord, touch your way. Holy Ghost. Job 33, 24, Job said, I found a ransom. I found an atonement. Then in verse 25, he said, my flesh was made fresher than a child. Woo! Lord, we found a bloody, bloody cross. A ransom. Your atonement blood, Jesus. God, I declare it. Lord, if it worked with the old covenant, just the blood of some animal. How much more shall the blood of Christ, Hebrews 9 14, make our face fresher than a child's? Behold, in the name of Jesus, your glory. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Good. If all things work together 
ladies of the Lord that will embrace her. As God says, through your embrace of her, I will embrace her even greater than I just did. She stands back up. So she did. Give me three ladies. Just walk up to her and put your arms around her. Jesus. Jesus took a man in Luke 14 that had troops. Troops was a disease caused by retaining of too much water on the bottom. The Bible said Jesus took it. That Jesus took it. Let him go. I call it a heat of Jesus. Over. The church needs to hug him. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, people get hugged just from a love. Yeah. People get healed just from a love. Yeah. In a new way. People get hugged from a heal. Yes, sir. Yes. Or thank you for this invitation. Lord, I speak your word. You said, Lord, you were going to hear the Lord in front of the wind that's there. It's all from the Lord, sir. Lord, you were very concerned with this child. We speak your word. We agree right now in faith. Anything and everything Satan may have planned is now stopped. It is not only interrupted, it is stopped. We speak the blood of the Lamb of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for canceling everything Satan had planned. And for your will, your plan, your purposes. Dominate your life. In Jesus' name.